to have police in the community in the night. People are scared. The police might burn our houses. Everyone was frightened. They started to move into the nearby bushes and stay there. Across Papua New Guinea, tens of thousands of people were having their land stolen, often violently, and their rainforests destroyed for timber that sold around the world. Forest is our wholesale, forest is our timber yard, forest is our freezer, forest is our supplier. It was all free for us. We got nothing to worry about. There was a big batch that brought in the machines and there were policemen on the batch with the machines. We were the first people to go up there and tell them, no, stop this. We do not want this. When I see ships taking my logs away, I honestly cry. We do not have control over these people. They say they own the land now, so they do whatever they want. We cannot just sit down. That is the reason why we stand up and raise our voice so that something's got to be done to save our forest. The government of Papua New Guinea has leased more than 50,000 square kilometers of community land to some of the world's biggest logging companies. By law, the land belongs to the people who live there, but people that we've spoken to have told us they had no idea their land was being taken away. And when they've tried to speak out about it, they've been intimidated and sometimes even beaten up by the police. Every one of us were in a total darkness. When we went around to seek legal assistance, we were told by lawyers that certainly your land has been taken away. This is by surprise. In some cases, communities say that key documents showing they agree to give away their land are fraudulent and include the forged signatures of children and the deceased. Some leases are being challenged in court. On the document, there are names of people who are dead. They have their names written and signed without their consent. That automatically becomes 99 years. It's three generations. By that time, we will lose everything. The tropical logging industry is rife with illegality and human rights abuses. Logging companies are grabbing land, trashing rainforests, and destroying livelihoods in Papua New Guinea and across Asia, Africa, and Latin America. Almost all of the logs from Papua New Guinea are shipped to China, where they're turned into everyday objects like furniture and flooring, before being shipped around the world. China is the world's biggest importer of rainforest timber, but it has no laws to keep illegal wood off its markets. These logging companies are making a fortune, and countless people are losing the land and forests they depend on. When we started this uh, fight in 2010, we had a big support, and we were hoping that we will get an answer in a few days' time. And then all of a sudden, the court keep prolonging, the police involvement keeps on suppressing us. It reduces and weakens the support bit by bit. I've been waiting for a decision from the court and all of us are waiting around. The surrounding villages too are still waiting. We've been waiting since 2014 till now. I've got the strength and, and I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to put this struggle down. I strongly believe that the government of Papua New Guinea, if it's a very good government for the people of this country, it can return and nullify all the leases and return all the land to the, to the uh, customary landers. Until we start tracking where tropical wood is coming from, the global timber trade will continue to have devastating impacts on local communities and on rainforests in Papua New Guinea and around the world. Land is something very special. Land looks after you and when you die, land holds you in a harm and she's our mama. That's how it is important. <laughs>